After destroying 30 computers with computer viruses, I decided to take the most dangerous viruses I've done and destroy those computers again. These are by far the best computer viruses that I've done so far. Without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. Welcome back to Crypto NWO. I am your host, Crypto NWO, and this is I downloaded the most dangerous computer viruses 3.5. Now, what does this title even mean? I finished with the part one video, part two, 2.5 and three. And in this video, I'm going to be taking my favorite computer viruses from those four videos. You guys seem to really be enjoying these computer virus videos and it's actually showing in the amount of likes that these videos are getting. And honestly, liking the video and commenting on the video is by far the best way you can tell any YouTuber that you're enjoying their videos. Without any further hesitation, ladies and gentlemen, this is I downloaded the most dangerous computer viruses 3.5. Actually gonna go ahead and get this started. The first virus that we're gonna go ahead and try out. Oh, great. The MEMS virus. MEMS virus is a good one to start with because I actually can use the computer after destroying my computer. So I'm not connected to my internet. That's interesting. And now the real time protection is off. Now let's do this the easy way. MEMS.bat. Now what's gonna happen? Ah. Interesting. So the software you just executed is considered malware. The malware will harm your computer and make it unusable. If you are seeing this message without knowing what you just executed, simply press no and nothing will happen. If you know what the software is and you're using it in a safe environment, I know what the software is. I'm using it in a safe environment. Go ahead and press yes. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Your computer has been by the MEMS Trojan. Your computer won't boot up again. So use it as long as you can. Smiley face. Trying to kill MEMS will cause your system to be destroyed instantly. So don't try it. Smiley face. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So I can actually continue to use on the computer as I wish. Not connected to my internet right now. That's really good. Oh no. Something just popped up on the screen saying how to send a virus to my friend. I... Oh no. Google.co.ck. I'm Google.ca. That's really freaking interesting. So I'm not connected to the internet right now and I really tried to open up that browser. Oh, dude, that's creepy. Okay, I'm not. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god, it's Googling. Very illegal things. Okay. That's the MEMS virus. The next one we're gonna open up is called Bonsai Buddy or Bonsify. Let's open up both of them. Why not? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, so. Hello, I'm on. I'm here to destroy your computer again, but this time it's an actual destruction. First thing I'll do is to inject my beauty into all programs that start from now. Doesn't it look great? Would not recommend to restart your system from now because it might be a bit unstable. If you wait a bit for me, I will do even more than just that. I will spam your computer with random executables. Inject my code into them too and let them corrupt your computer. Your programs are my slaves from then. Doesn't that sound great? Got 30 seconds left until. I activate the final destruction. 30 seconds? You look around your system because now I'm everywhere. Got 20 seconds left until I activate the final destruction. That's terrifying. You've got 10 seconds left until I activate the final destruction. Destruction of death is now activated. What? It's hip to... Bro, the computer is going crazy. Restarting. I actually want to see what he did. He's destroying my computer. Basically, the computer just keeps shutting down, which is absolutely annoying. But that's bonsai, buddy. This dude is absolutely relentless. Sorry, I keep repeating this, but nobody wants to try this at home. Don't do this for your own malicious purpose. You're actually going to get in a lot of trouble if you do this for malicious purpose. Enjoy your time in jail. I simply am just like analyzing these. This is a virus analysis, malware investigation, real time protection off. You guys know the routine. Plug it into Windows 10. Perfect. Perfect. No escape. Now, no escape has been heavily requested in my comment section. I just wanted to repeat don't do whatever I'm doing. Doing in this video, you can end up in a lot of trouble, but we're gonna go ahead and hit no escape.exe. Oh, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. This malware is no joke. Continue. That's hit. Yes. What's gonna happen? It's restarting my computer. Windows 11. Okay. What happened? What? 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 Hello, what is oh no. Oh. Password is incorrect. What? Oh no. Oh, I smell an ARG. Oh, dude, <laughs> this is the first virus we're downloading. No escape.exe. There's passwords. Incorrect. 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 In. Oh, oh. 
I think I just cracked in. I love well-made creepy pasta viruses like this. This is noescape.exe and this is not a joke. I'm pretty sure once you download this virus onto your computer, this is exactly what you see and literally, quite literally, there is no escape. Oh, password is incorrect. Oh my God. Okay, so all of these are password encrypted. I'm going to just do a quick Google search and find out what the password is. <laughs> One Google search later. That, that. According to a user online, this screenshot right here, the password is all lowercase that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, threats found. Is that really gonna help? Are you okay? Oh, okay, that's just not gonna go away, isn't it? Start menu does not look like the start menu anymore. Open with... What? Oh, bro, I have to right click for a left click and I have to left click for a right click. Your computer is mine. You cannot get rid of this malware. Take a look, one finger. Two finger. Oh, this is a nightmare. No escape. Oh, that's actually terrifying. Those are all the users. Oh my God, all of them have different passwords. Oh, that's a good, that's a very well-made virus. We're gonna go ahead and send that to the Shadow Realm. Now, the next computer virus that I'm gonna be opening up is Mrs. Major 3.0. Mrs. Major 1.0 and Mrs. Major 2.0 have apparently caused absolute destruction. And here they are again with Mrs. Major 3.0. Put it onto my desktop. We're gonna press Mrs. Major. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Absolutely. freaking lootly The program you run is actually a malware. This malware is only for educational purposes only. It will harm your computer and make it unusable. If you run this program, you agree that you are the only one responsible for any damages caused by the execution of this program. Now, if you had your internet turned on, let's say they started spreading online through email and whatnot, you can end up in jail for this, you know? So I'm gonna hit, I agree. I'm gonna hit run because I'm running on a VM right now. This is major. This is Mrs. Major. It's restarting my computer automatically. It opened the page. This is good. Oh my God, blood, blood. what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh no. Oh my God. What do I do? What do I do? Oh my God, can I do anything? Oh no, I'm all Open up something! Oh, this is not good. Help me! Okay, what happens when she runs out of- Oh, this is crazy. I can't do anything. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Mrs. Major 3.0. This is actually terrifying. What if I open Microsoft Edge? Oh my- Dude, that's messed up. I'm gonna hit shut down. You can't even shut it down. Oh my god. I am destroying Windows 11 right now <laughs> with computer viruses. Please don't arrest me, police. I have to disconnect from the internet, real-time protection, and shut it off. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. The next one we're going to open up is COVID computer virus. What does that even mean? A COVID computer virus. I don't even know what that means, but we're about to find out. It's apparently a ransomware. These are all ransomwares. Now, what a ransomware is, is pretend like your files get locked up in some sort of ball. Every important file you've ever had, all the music, all the important pictures, videos you've ever had are locked in this little caged ball right now. The only way to get all your files from this caged ball is to send money into this ball. Now that's called a ransomware attack. We've pressed COVID-666 and there's a couple of them. There's, I'll open up a uh, 666. That can't be good. What's this? Oh my God, you're about to be signed out. You have only four minutes to complete the payment or all your data is lost forever. That's that, that, that quick? What about this one? What about press this? File corrupted. This program has been manipulated and maybe infected by a virus or cracked. This file won't work anymore. Oh, 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 shh. Encrypted your, en enter decryption key. COVID-29 is a multi-language ransomware. Translate your note to any language. Oh, this is a multi-language ransomware. All your files have been encrypted. Your computer was infected with a ransomware virus. All your files have been encrypted and you won't be able to decrypt them without our help. What can I do to get my files back? You can buy our special decryption software. Oh my God, the price for the software is $6,666. Payment can be made in Bitcoin only. Purchasing Bitcoin varies from country to country and you're best advised for doing a quick Google search yourself to find out how to buy Bitcoin, but I can't do a quick Google search because my computer is destroyed. It says I have four minutes to pay. What happens after four minutes? Four minutes later. Okay, so the computer just shut down and look at that. The computer is gone. We're going to go ahead and open up yet another Windows 11. If you guys enjoy what you're watching, go ahead and smash the like button, guys. The next computer virus that we're going to open up is called the Monoxide Virus. This is a really cool one. I've heard a lot about this one here. But we're going to go ahead and open up the Monoxide Virus. Oh, what the... Oh, that's freaky. Oh, that's freaky. Dude, that's absolutely destructive. Oh my goodness. Give us a minute. The monoxide virus. Yeah, this one is absolutely bonkers. Oh, 
this is sick. What is happening? I'm not even doing any of this. I'm not doing anything that you see on the computer right now. He's trying to open up a bunch of pictures. I'm not connected to the internet right now. Shout out to the person that made this virus. I don't know if I saw the, the creator's name. Oh my god. It just gets worse. It gets more unusable. The next one is called Windows RGB Destructive. There's a lot of files here. I'm just going to open up the application. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yeah, of course. What's going to happen? This Trojan is no joke. Do you want to run it? <laughs> this is crazy. RGB. Destructive. Yo, this is pure destruction. Windows RGB destructive. Can I restart the computer? Restart the computer. Right now, we're gonna do the SpongeBob virus. And that's not a fun image. But let's go ahead and open up the SpongeBob No Sleep. Again, this Trojan is no joke. Do you want to run it? Absolutely. SpongeBob is watching you. Burr. Oh, 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 oh. SpongeBob is watching you. SpongeBob is watching you. SpongeBob is watching you. This image of SpongeBob watching me. SpongeBob is watching you. SpongeBob is watching you. What's up with this SpongeBob blood, bro? SpongeBob is watching you. <laughs> SpongeBob is watching you. <laughs> bro, Mrs. SpongeBob Major 3.0. SpongeBob is watching you. Why does this keep happening? SpongeBob is watching you. SpongeBob is watching you. This is so creepy. SpongeBob is watching you. SpongeBob is watching you. Watching you. Dude, this is so weird. SpongeBob is watching you. 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 Dude, that's messed up. And again, it destroyed the boot sector of the computer. So now the computer is never gonna work again. Bro, don't mess around with SpongeBob. Because of SpongeBob, I'm gonna have to send this VM to the Shadow Realm. SpongeBob really took out that computer, man. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect from the internet. Now I want you guys to take a look. I have a folder here called a lot of viruses number one. It's 744 megabytes large of just code. It's a large, large folder containing computer viruses. So if you guys want me to keep making these videos and you haven't hit the like button and placed a comment already, go ahead and do it because I love making these type of videos. And if you guys wanna see them again, then like. Liking the video is actually a really good way to get the next video recommended onto your algorithm. So if you hit the like button, then the next video will be recommended onto the algorithm. Now, why is this sponsorship Yu-Gi-Oh card blank? It's because I don't get any sponsors on this channel. Nobody wants to sponsor these type of videos. If you want to show some support to Crypto NWO, if you enjoy what you're watching right now, if you like this video, go ahead and click the red subscribe button. It's free. You can go ahead and do it. If you want to show some even further support, find the second link in the description. It's going to take you to my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash crypto NWO. C-R-Y-P-T-O-N-W-O. This is what a crypto NWO edit looks like. It's truly painful to make these videos. So if you do want to show some support, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Even further support, go onto the Patreon. Let's get back to the video. The next one that we're opening up is called Rhoda Noted Case in Destructive. <laughs> Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher? Yada, yada, yada. Yes, yes, yes. You are about to run a Trojan that will damage your system and corrupt your hard disk. Do you want to continue? The creator is not responsible for any damages. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's run it. Help me, my computer has a virus. Google.co.ck. I don't know, I run Google.ca in Canada. What the heck is Google.co.ck? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah! What did I say? Oh, shout out to the person that made this computer virus. Oh, how do you shut the computer off?
This is a banger! This is crazy. Shout out to the person that made this computer virus. Shut down. This one is really interesting. Here's another ransomware. I have the scorpion virus for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me, Crypto, do the scorpion virus. Do the scorpion virus. We're going to take the scorpion virus and <laughs> I'm actually excited to run this one for you guys. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Welcome to the scorpion virus. Enter the code to unlock the virus. Remaining tries. A, a ransomware doesn't really look like this, actually. It's supposed to give you an address and a time limit because right now, how are you supposed to get the code? What's the code for the scorpion virus? Okay, so it's not one, two, three, four. What about zero, 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 zero? How many, how many numbers is it? It doesn't even tell you how many numbers. Wanna try? Zero tries remaining. And now the virus is locked forever. Now your computer is absolutely screwed. The scorpion virus just absolutely obliterated it. So what if I try to restart the computer? But well, we're gonna go ahead and do the infamous Windows XP horror now. I really wanna see what this one's all about, bro. Oh, sweet God, remember that? Oh my goodness. Your computer might be at risk. Antivirus is okay, 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 okay. Virus protection not found. That's fine. Okay, that's connected to Windows XP. Hopefully it reads it. Flash disk. Oh baby. The Windows XP horror edition. Created by Wabi Chip. Oh. Oh. I literally clicked it and it's apparently a Windows update. 66%. 666 dot system. Don't look behind me. Oh, bro, what the hell? Oh, bro, my voodoo doll just tripped me out. Microsoft Windows XP Horror Edition. Oh, it's so terrifying. Oh, I love it. Recycling bin. Oh my God. What's in the recycling bin? Oh, this is nice. The music's really not helping though. I'm not gonna cap. Don't open me. Dot text. Okay, they spelled okay wrong. Bro, why am I actually looking behind me? Oh my god! Oh dude, this is creepy. This is very, very well made. Oh, I love this. I hate it. I hate it at the same time. I smell an ARG. Oh, dude, that's creepy. <laughs> okay. That's gross. That's freaking terrifying. Uh, the start menu has been... Oh, bro, there's more. I have to click it? Dude, I'm actually... Go to sleep. You know what? It's quite late. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video like this on the channel and smash that like button. Actually, if you click this video that just appeared on the top right of the screen, I know you're gonna enjoy this video because I hand selected this video. So go ahead and click that video. I'll see you guys in the future. Love ya.